Hey everybody, thank you. Welcome to the video. This is one of my new videos from my new house that I'm in down the country and I feel inspired to take out my camera and make a video now about boundaries and one um, de negative aspect of boundaries. So, so say it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful country, it's a beautiful sky and I love all the birds and I'm just out here and I absolutely love it, it's gorgeous. But I find it's really important to talk about the topic because in, on earth at this time many of us grow up and we're hurt and abused or used or exploited and hurt etc okay so as a result we're often controlled too so as a result we we eventually learn about boundaries and then we go to the other extreme where we, we learn to say no and that's it's, it's healthy to say no but the thing is we say no but for what I want to say is we need to combine it with one other thing and that's to combine it with an open compassionate heart of love sensitivity tenderness care compassion and caring deeply for another person because when we go to the other extreme we've been so busy thinking about other people at our expense and being a walkover or a people's pleaser suddenly we want to switch it to all about us and when we make it all about us that's when that's when it's an imbalance it's too much about us it's all about us and we're not we're losing the care and the open heart and sensitivity and empathy towards another person so that's why I'm making this video to let you in on that little secret uh, just to remind you if you already knew so don't just not to become hard you know hard hard-hearted steely insensitive care uncaring when you do what I'm suggesting and when you embody this when you let this permeate your energy and facilitate this within your being it's gorgeous so it just means you know then what to say to people instead of saying no I have a right to say no like I don't want to go and that's that you know that that just sounds very insensitive and it actually is insensitive so it doesn't feel good because it's not really from your like higher self the way if you know what I mean it's not the inner being source feels good what will feel good is living from your heart and you, you could say something like like I don't really want to I don't I don't want to go but but I, I, I hope you're not disappointed or something like that to show you care you know when you live from your heart and it's it's living from we all live from our heart sometimes and we all don't live from our heart so it's not like one person does live from the heart and another person doesn't or the saint does or the monk does or the or the, the person who, <laughs> who gets drunk in the pub regularly doesn't you know that's a stereotype they could care and have the open heart and sensitivity for their their pet their dog the birds the mother nature the tree their, their son or their daughter or their mother or their sick mother whoever it is it's really all about how much and how, how often and how much so we, we embody love more and more in our life as we progress along the journey oh, yeah, this, is, this is like the best thing ever gone on here it's absolutely gorgeous <laughs> my lovely neighbor dog so beautiful dog I always like talking to the dog saying oh, hello beautiful love you and loads of little nice things that you know aren't you gorgeous <laughs> it, it pokes its um, little nose almost through a crack in the fence so yeah I think you, I think you get the gist you get the gist so just about maintaining balance and care and compassion and talking to people nicely and considering them and thinking about them and treating them nicely and then everything will work out so much better so I just remind you keep living from your heart it's about remembering and it's about remembering to remember and setting intentions to remember setting intentions to do it and then you remember more and everything is just so better because when you're in alignment with yourself and you're feeling clearly your heart is open your energy is circulating freely that's when you can think clearly and see things accurately and perceive correctly and obviously then your choices are clear and your decision making is more inspired and spontaneous and it's just generally clearer and more better it's more harmonious and it will produce a better outcome a more happy pleasurable constructive uniting healthy 
nurturing product outcome. So it's very cold here now actually. The sun is going down. I'll talk to you again another day. I'm wishing you lots of love, peace and happiness and joy and keep being yourself because who you are is the best thing in the world. Remember, you're the beautiful source God. And keep remember to look up at the sky and maybe lie on the ground. <laughs> Bye. See it. Take care and keep creating the beautiful world together. We're all the co-creators. Just oh, so beautiful. Keep educating and getting information and expanding and then we spread the word. We stand up without resistance and with love against hurtful behaviors killing, war, all that type of thing, exploitation, cruelty, with love and understanding, without resistance, with an open heart and open ears and open mind. And we talked the way I was mentioning before, the inspired version, and then we all get to transform the world really quicker, like quicker, together, as we all do it together in this powerful way. Otherwise it'll take much slower and more gradual, so do something like what I'm doing maybe, like making videos or art or whatever you do, posters, talk to your neighbours, bring it, bring this type of thing into your business or your school or if you're a teacher or lectures or yoga, just keep spreading the word like little pamphlets, leaflets, anything at all, like anything small makes a difference and we don't know how we affect people's lives, so. Okay, so see you again and take care. Thanks for joining me. And Appreciate your presence. Your presence. Bye.